Hello everybody, Burnt Oak Guy here, and welcome back. So we're playing Kerbal Space Program here today. Uh, so today's, um, I think last time I said I was going to put satellites, but we don't have like the proper technology yet for that, and not exactly really what I want to do. So I think we're going to go do this one right here. Uh, this one says to fly by Mun, so we can just fly by it and then come back. So that should be very plausible. It should net us a nice little bit of uh, good money because it's going to give us some money before and after. And then we get a completion bonus for doing the stuff. So this is a lot of money that's going to help us uh, upgrade our, our stuff later, right? So, that's the big plan there. Uh, we also have a 99 science. So, uh, I've been really torn up about what I wanted to... <laughs> about really kind of what I want to buy. Um, we have, we have like, here the electronics. This is fine because this can get us uh, batteries, which is good. Uh, we can also get um, solar panels. Um... What are these two? Is it a different type of solar panel or? Yes, yes there are. Okay, these are deployable solar panels. These are new, okay. Um, these ones are also another type of deployable, but uh, they can retract too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and there's some lights. Okay, so, and this is, um, uh, instead of using a Kerbal, you can use this as a guided computer to bring your, your ship up. So this is one of the things I was thinking about doing. Um, miniaturization, don't really care about it at the moment. Uh, exploration is going to be good really soon, only because of this one right here. Uh, you can actually get uh, four Kerbals in this thing. So this will be really good when we start doing... Um, more... I, I, I guess a bigger, better rocket for tourism. Um, and for other ships that bring Kerbals elsewhere in the game. Um, we got like uh, advanced flight control, which doesn't interest me very at the moment. Um, uh, the This is going to be good for later on when we start building bigger ships. Uh, that's like your how you can turn your ship in space uh, for maneuverability wise. Um, not really there yet. Aerodynamics, these two I'm kind of avoiding at the moment because I'm not really good with planes in this game. Uh, then we got the what are these parts? Advanced construction parts? Okay, so these are just a lot of different parts that we can use to build the to build ships with. Uh, it's kind of neat. A hinge. <laughs> cool. I have to figure out what some of these things are used for. Cylinders and all that good stuff. Cool. Then we got fuel systems. So we got bigger, bigger fuel tanks. Um, propulsion. That's going to be uh, smaller engines, but better engines, more fuel efficient, stuff like that. And then we got our heavy rocket, um, our heavy rocket engines. Now, see, these two kind of go hand in hand. Uh, so if you're gonna kind of get these, you kind of have to get these. Um, I, you know, kind of makes sense, right? Uh, this one is good for okay, but uh, I guess we're gonna go here for now. Um, <clears throat> I really don't know. <laughs> uh, I've been really torn up. Uh, about this, but we're gonna for this mission to go to the moon and back. I think it's best if we have some solar panels so that we don't uh, we don't run out of power on the way there. So that's pretty much where the breakdown of this uh, this is gonna be where our points are gonna start coming in really really heavy. So we're gonna have to make a a very science heavy vehicle here. Um, because we're also going to have to make sure we bring two Kerbals because uh, we're going to have to reset a lot of the experiments uh, we're going to have to do that way we can get like a lot of science right because the most science we can do along this trip and bring it back the better and uh, I think if we bring a scientist and we bring the uh, just a pilot will be will be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and build a ship, and then I'll uh, I'll be back when all that's done. Cause it's gonna take a while to do that. All right. So this is what we got for a, a space vehicle. So we got uh, four main boosters down here, with a single one down here. Uh, this is a fuel. These are solid. Uh, we got a separating stage here to another small. And then we got our little science section. Uh, inside here we have a service bay. 
That's pretty wicked. Uh, I got two Kerbals. I got uh, some drone shoots on the top and some shoots there. Uh, the only thing I did forget to do was... Where are we? Uh, communication, huh? No little communications with the, the Kerbals. Let's uh, plop that right there. That looks good. Awesome. So at least I have a little radio antenna that can send back crew reports at least. Um, those that don't have to keep that data. Um, but the other hard data they're going to have to keep, like the thermometer, the barometer, uh, the goo, uh, this thing here. So that's that. Um, our crew is uh, Bob and Jeb. Uh, they, will be, uh, they will be going up there. Um, so that's it. Yeah, let's get ready to uh, let's get ready to go. Oh, I also called it uh, Mun One. <laughs> so this is our our, our Mun One. Uh, so staging goes as is. These all go together, then they separate. Um, these two go, and then so forth. You know. So let's give her. Let's give her. <coughs> all right. So we're back. Let's. Uh, Bring this puppy up to about half throttle. Uh, put on our SAS, and then uh, get ready to hit the Z button to max throttle, and then you jettison these things. Um, we go too fast when we hit like the the terminal velocity area where you got like you know pressure and all that good stuff. Like you start to wobble and it goes real bad. Um, so you kind of want to go through there at a certain speed and not too fast because you're going to especially see how it's starting to bend there a little bit there. Oof, that's not good. But we should be okay now. We passed that point. We're, we're, we're good. We're good. So we'll full throttle that. We'll jettison these things. Look at that separation. Ah, beautiful. Now uh, let's start bending over here. And then... Uh, once we get this thing completely over to the side, we'll stay like that until we get rid of the fuel completely. And then once we get rid of all of our fuel, well, we should be good to go. So just to confirm, yeah, let's just keep going like this. Uh, we'll move it all the way over now. Perfect. So that was probably not the most fuel efficient way of doing that. It's kind of technically a little bit how you're supposed to do it, but it's supposed to be done in a more smoother transition. Um, a lot smoother. <laughs> but that's good for me. So we're just going to keep going until we jettison this thing right here. Uh, there's no point really doing science and all that good stuff from here because we, we pretty much all did it along the way, right? So we'll try to do science uh, on our way to Mun and uh, once we once we get around Mun. Try to get it as close as we can there. Um, uh, I don't know how close that's going to be, but we'll, we'll do our best. Uh, yes, we can. Alright, so let's go check this out here. Uh, actually, we want to hit X. Then we're going to do a quick maneuver. We'll bring this out. Uh, 88, 106. Can I bring it down a bit? Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, so... Uh, it says it's a minute and 50 burn. Uh, at 50 seconds. Then we, we start that. So that's not bad. Alright. We can do this. And then that is our maneuver. And then this will somewhat circularize uh, our our thing here. It'll be good though. And yeah, there we go. So if we stay along this heading, this will all circularize and circular circularize. Why is that sometimes you know like some words are just like really hard to say and I don't know why. Circularize. And then let's go. Let's go freaking global here. Mmm, that's some good coffee. Mm, love that coffee. Alright, so. Here we go, up this way. I've got a minute 15 seconds left. So I'm going to keep 
keeping an eye on our fuel too. Our fuel's actually doing pretty good. Um, I think we did pretty good on making this in particular vessel. Yes, I did. Uh, I did a few practice runs with it too, though. That's why, like, you know, like before I just build it and send it out there, I like to practice with it and see how it flies and make sure that it does its job right. So, um, there's a nice little option in here where you can revert your 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 thing, so you don't have to like go along with the mission. Like, you can just revert it at just about any point and retry it from wherever. Which is nice, which is good. It's a good little option to have. Um, that way, if you mess up or whatever, well, you can like, you know, go back and try it again. So we're getting near the end of our burn here, so we're gonna pay attention. Uh, we should start seeing the. Uh, what the hell is that other thing there? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow the blue mark. I was getting off off line there. There's our periaps. That's what we're looking for. So once that hits that uh, about, uh, yeah, that's good. There, our maneuver is done. We're now in orbit, and that's awesome. So, so now we got lots of. Actually, we got quite a bit of fuel left. That's pretty good. All right. So in order to to get an orbit, they say to put the moon to the side here like this. So I'm going to add a maneuver node up here, uh, let's see what we can get here. Well, that's pretty good actually, that's quite quite the flyby, look at that, look at that afterwards, and we'd almost get a min-miss too, wow, okay let's, let's see what we can do here, see if we can get a double flyby, that'd be possible. Ah, don't be so fidgety. Oh yeah, you can use the wheel too, I forgot about that. Um, do we get cocky and, and go out like this and get a periaps to... Because that's... That's friggin'... Oh man. I don't know. I think we'll just uh, stick with trying to get to the moon and we'll come back. Uh, 340... Isn't there a way to like fine tune that? Oh no no sorry wrong button. Ah oh, man, did I just messed that up. I think I did. I think I did. Yeah, we'll just uh oh I can get another one right here. This one's a smaller one. What would be the parry ups to that? Four hundred and something. Uh, can you stop doing that? I don't like when it does that. I just want to click on you. I don't want to add a maneuver. There we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, what do we got here? 40, that's going down. Still going down? Yes, it's still going down. Awesome. Ooh, that's uh, pretty close. Uh, closer than I'd like. 128. 113. 31's pretty good. That's a pretty close. Where is that gonna. Oof. Wow. Um, that's scary. Because that could bring us like right out into space, and I don't want to go out into space. I want to stay circularized. So I think we're going to do something like that. Uh, can I get closer though? Uh, 130, 105. Okay, that's good. That's good. I'm, I'm happy with that one. That'll be pretty good. That's not a very big burn time either, so that's good. Alright, so let's fast forward time here. So we can get around. And we don't have to actually wait 21 minutes to to complete our burn. So, when there's about a minute left, we'll, uh, there we go. We'll get our, our guy into position here. Awesome. 
There we go. So half of 110 is 40 seconds. So at 40 seconds here, we will begin our burn. And then that will hopefully put us onto this kind of a, uh, a path here. <laughs> we'll get in touch with Mun here. We'll do some science. So probably roughly about here we can do some science because then we should be about halfway in between, right? Uh, so yeah. Oh, 10 seconds left before the burn. Yeah, so I figure about here we can start doing a little bit of science and then we'll do some as we encounter Mun science. And then full way, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, burning and we're going to Mun. Wow, well, at least a flyby anyways. We don't have enough uh, fuel to land on it. Some experts uh, can land on this thing uh, in way earlier stages than what I can do. Um, I've never actually really attempted, mind you, either, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm not going to. So, uh, our goal here, we can sit here and can't we... I thought there was a way to view... view the moon. Just by clicking on it or something. I can't remember. Or is it here? Oh yeah, because set as target. Yeah, and you can uh, focus view. So then you would see as it's coming in here like this. That's what I was looking for. And that's how you fine tune your approaches and stuff like that, right? But I'm just going to check this out. Alright, so, uh, if we do our little encounter, uh, bring it the way it's supposed to, bam, that's pretty darn good, I'm pretty happy with that, we're going to get a decent approach, uh, there we go, I like that, that's good, that's good, so we should get a periaps of one something on that, that's a good flyby. We'll be able to leave, and then once we get to this point here, we can burn again and bring our periaps down back into Kerbin, and then recapture the Kerbin, the Kerbin thing here, and off we go, man. This is going to be awesome. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go and check out our spaceship because that's what we want to be looking at. Um, now if I fast forward a little bit, let's get him out of Kerbin, Kerbin influence, right? So I don't want to go too fast because I, I don't want to miss my science uh, ability here. Uh, no, I don't want to warp there. I want to set you as my target. Hmm. Alright, let's slow down. I'm pretty sure there was a way to do that again. Just don't remember how. All right, doesn't matter. Uh, let's hit M. We'll go in here, so we can uh, take a look at our our science here. First of all, where's the sun? Okay. Yeah. At least uh, one solar panel is getting some some light here. We don't want to uh, lose lose power along the way. That would be very 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 bad. So let's conduct a study. We'll uh, open these doors. We'll do a crew report. That, like I said, we can send back home because that's like information we don't need to keep. Uh, on the back side here, we got the log of temperature. We can do a pressure data and we can observe the goo. So, keep all that information, right? So now if we take out uh, Bob, right? Bob should be able to do an EVA here, and uh, I believe it's R, uh, no, let go of that, and we hit R, yeah, then we go ever so slightly, you want to oh, go around to the other side of uh, the vessel, oh, no, 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 slowly, I said slowly, Bob, slowly, you have to be patient, my friend. Alright, so that's pretty good. So we should be able to go collect data, remove data. There we go. Now, if 
Bob would just stop moving around like a silly guy here. We can go restore. Perfect. So, uh, then we can go here. We can take this data. And this one here, we can take that data. We can uh, collect the data here. So we'll remove that data, and then we'll restore it. And then while we're out here, we can do an EVA report and keep that. And then let's just uh, float back around the other side here. Bob must be just enjoying his little, little good self here. Uh, right, I should have a grab option somewhere around here, no? Uh, I know this is the crew hatch. Come on. I had a little option to hit F button, please or bored or something? No? <laughs> Leave my poor Kerbal stranded outside. I'm pretty sure that's where we came out of, right? That's very strange. Very, very strange. Uh, let's go back up here. Come on. Hmm. Why won't it let, uh, let him grab onto that? That's weird. Strange. I'm not gonna let my Kerbal get back in. Have you, Jebediah? Have you barred him? Hmm. Uh, let's go to this one. Maybe I can get it. Oh, there we go. There it is. It's the bottom one here. Uh, do do do. Go up. And we'll hit uh, just B for board. There we go. So we got all that science stored in here. Uh, we'll just close these for now. So uh, that's good. That's good. That's awesome. I'm so happy with that. All right. So now we can uh, come back out here. We'll speed up time a little bit because we don't want to miss uh, miss any opportunities of science right because you want to grab science as you're coming into Mun and then as you're getting near it and then as you're leaving it so we're going to do high Mun science this is science it's probably going to be high among, high above it as classified as it is so we'll just uh, speed it up just a little bit more and here we go and like I said, I'm not trying to miss my opportunity of getting in here. So here we go, because I don't want to miss it. And we're about ready to there. Now, look. See, it's gone blue here. There, so now we're entered the, in, the um, influence of Mun. So we'll go back out here. Now we should be able to conduct uh, this, keep that, uh, crew report, send that off, then let's open these doors again, take a log of temperature, the barometer, and the goo, mere goo, awesome. Uh, Bo, uh, now we'll take Bob again. Remember, you're at the bottom there, Bob. So we'll let go. Uh, Bob will now do uh, another EVA report. Because I think we're above now, so I think that's completely different. So let's uh, ever so slowly make our way here. Good job. Good job, Bob. So proud of you. Collect that data. Remove the data. Need to restore it. Awesome. And we will take the data from there, take the data from here, and then we'll collect the data. We'll do that don't show again. Restore. Perfect. And we'll slowly make our way back down here. And. Uh, oh, sorry. I missed the wrong button. There, and B for board. So now we just collected a bunch more science. That's just totally awesome. 
So here we go. So now we'll uh, we'll fast forward time up a little bit more, so that way we can get to the periaps of this place, right? That'll be our our kind of our slowest approach. But there we go. So we'll slow it down. Then uh, we'll do more science. So we get more science from this. Swing around to the other side here. We'll log the temperature. We'll do the barometer thing. We'll do the goo thing. Awesome. Keep that. Now we'll do a crew report. Uh, oh, it's still classified as high over. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, we set that anyways. I'll still go out and grab the science and see what happens. Uh, EV report. I'll keep it. Then we'll go, uh, let go. And we'll go get that science. Alright. Calm down, Bob. Calm down. Take that. Take that. Uh, I'm not close enough, I guess. There you go. Collect data. Restore. And then collect data. Restore. And then we'll see if this data counted. Because if it doesn't count, it's going to tell you. Oh, see, dump. So none of that was any good, I guess. I guess we got all the high science that we possibly could from that. But it looked cool. There's our moon. Awesome. Okay, so the high science that we did out here was classified as high science. All right, so that's fine. That's fine. So if we go like this, we should be able to speed up time. Uh, now we're back in the influence of uh, Kerbin. Okay. So we'll just speed it up until we get to the periapsis here, or the apoapsis. All right, well, that's close enough. Then we'll point it retrograde. That's uh, the other one. That's I can't remember what that one's called. Maybe prograde. Oh. Um, I can't remember. Don't quote me on that. And then what we can do is we can fire our rocket. This will bring in our periaps to uh, to the planet, so that way we can get a closer approach, and we can get back home. Uh, it's very important getting back home. <laughs> it's always important to bring your kerbals back out and home and not leave them in space, right? That's uh, how I look at that. Oh, see, we could have had another approach with the the moon here, but we don't want that. So let's just uh, go back home. Oh, keeping an eye on this. Fuel is looking pretty good. Want to bring that into about, oh, I'd say about 60 maybe. And then I can burn the rest coming off the other way. Which will be good. Uh, right there. That'll be good. So now we can fast forward the time. Vroom. Now we're here. That was probably many, many, many days, weeks, months. Ah, uh, no. It was a few hours, I guess. Uh, okay, so now where's our other one? There we go. And then we'll just burn the rest of our fuel, capturing Kerbin. And then, really, there we go. Now we can see where we're going to come back in here. Now at 62, I'm below the atmosphere, so that's kind of good. Uh, we're going to stop that. I only got a little bit of fuel left. So, that's not enough to keep bringing us down. So, I'll save that little bit of fuel here, and I'll burn us back into the atmosphere a little bit more. And then that will be good. And then we should be okay. There we go. Speed it up a bit. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I totally missed it, but it doesn't matter. We'll just do it like this anyways. 
Uh, we'll just keep the time warp. Damn it. I messed that up, everybody. It's okay. We'll still, uh, we'll still capture it because it's still coming down every time. It's just going to take a little bit longer. <laughs> so I'll come back, I guess, when, uh, or I'll make a time lapse out of this. <laughs> Of these people going around in circles, these poor kerbals. Oh, yeah, I think this is going to be our last trip, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect. So I'll wait till I see. Uh, wait till I see that go down, and then we'll jettison. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect. 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 So where are we here? Oh yeah. We're going to come over, drop down somewhere in the Rockies here. So I guess it's okay to get rid of this thing because um, we're in the atmosphere really big time here. So that's okay to get rid of that. Now it's just, uh, we'll take care of us. Okay. So we'll close these things here right here, even though they're kind of aerodynamic. But I don't want them breaking off or blowing up or anything, so and we'll just time warp this a little bit until we can start seeing some atmospheric stuff. All the flames and good stuff here. So we're gonna have a pretty good entry actually. It's working out really nicely. I'm impressed. I don't like how it does that. So it's a little rocking and bobbing in there, everybody's having a good old hay time. I wonder if you can do that in here too. Or is it down here? I think it's down here. Uh, there we go. Now you can see the curbin. There you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, they're all upside down though. Here it's, we can turn them around. Uh oh. Uh, here, let's slow down time so we can control things a little bit better. So they're going in uh, backwards, more or less. Okay. That's interesting. Cool. All right, so they're having a blast in there. Just let me turn them around here. Have a good look at them. Okay, so how are we doing here? We're doing pretty good. How is this looking? Yeah, we're gonna come over around the mountains here, maybe, maybe a little bit earlier. I don't know. Things are doing pretty good, I think. Uh, why does it make you start so far away? Well, as long as we keep ourselves in the middle of this target here, that's going to keep us right in the middle of that heat shield. So the heat shield will take all the, the, the heat there and the pressure. So and it also slows us down. <clears throat> so we're not so much like a, a speeding bullet. And then once we slow down enough, we'll be able to deploy our drogue chutes, which are on the top here. And then we have our last two set of uh, parachutes. So that's pretty good. Everything seems to be well balanced there. Um, I'm liking this. Very, very nice. And I like the way the shuttle is. It's uh, it, it kind of like almost presents drag itself too along the side here, which is kind of neat. But uh, as long as they're not feeling it on the inside, and I guess we're all good, right? So yeah, everything's looking pretty, pretty good, man. Pretty happy. And then we should be able to do a little bit more science here on the ground. We'll see what kind of science uh, it lets us do. Because we did revert all the science before uh, coming down. There we go. Look at that. It's pretty awesome. We're about to uh, just stop smoking here like a gun. Awesome. Awesomely awesome. Now we just have to slow down enough that we can put our drogue shoots out. Okay, so those we can use. Awesome. That's going to help reduce our speed drastically. Yeah, let's remove our SAS since we don't need that no more. Just let gravity do its thing. There we go. Hey, you guys look pretty content in there, eh? What do you think? Yeah, flapping your arms around. I think, I think we did an awesome job, everybody. Awesome job. Good stuff. It's funny how you go up facing it and you come back down in reverse. It's like it's like a uh, hit and reverse on the recorder. And just going backwards. Alright, so we'll speed up a little bit of time here. We'll let these drogue shoots do their thing. 
which uh, they're doing a pretty good job because I could uh, deploy the other ones no problem uh, but we'll, uh, we'll go down to about here now we'll deploy the last set I'll help uh, really reduce our speed there the drogue shoots deployed well fully de fully deployed and now the other parachutes are going to do the same thing too very shortly probably around 900 there we go All right. All right. there that's a very awkward thing but that's fine we can just uh, kinda of play with it here and just before landing we'll <laughs> I think in real life all these uh these shoots need to come off and your main ones take over. I think that's how that works. But uh we don't have them set up like that and we can just kind of play around with the gerbils inside, make them all seasick. <laughs> Poor bloody gerbils. Um, all right, so let's just try to land like this so that way we can get in and out. Or actually, not even in a note. I just have to open the, the science bays, really. To be honest with you. Alright, so... There we go. So let's see if we can finish this off with a little bit more science. I really like how those doors fold open. That's kind of neat. Conduct some science. Uh, where is everything? Okay, it's all right here on the side. So if I log a temperature... I can log a pressure. We can do a goo. Awesome. Let's take a crew report. Perfect. And can we do an EVA? We can. EVA report. Sweet. Ladies and gentlemen, recover the vessel. Top stuff. That was wicked. That was great. I'm super happy. We managed to fly by the moon and bring our Kerbals home. Wow. Amazing. 309 science we got from that. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Wicked. Ah, oh, nice, nice. 591,000 bucks we received from that. So awesome. Ah, uh, you gained two experience. Both of them. Nice. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. So let's go spend our science right away. Ah, <sighs> okay. So I want to do heavy rocket, and I want to do these ones, okay? Because uh, mainly because of these two here, these fuel ducts there, because you can share fuel between um, between stuff. I got 129 left. We'll go for the aviation, and then that's it. And then we'll get some more science next time around, and then we'll start filling out this more. Oh my god, that's awesome. That's so awesome. But these two here were the, the really big primary ones that I wanted out of all that. That way we can uh we can start making bigger rockets and it make it easier to get to, to get to space compared to what we're doing now, right? So we completed that uh that thing there and you got bring Munstone back with you. Oh, okay. Um what else? So there's nothing really... Oh, explore the mun. See, uh, I think we're just going to take it, and then we can do that later. Uh, and science around the mun, I don't want to do that one yet. Because I, I think I want to go to Minmus next time. I think that's where we're going to head to next time. So, next time I think uh, we'll upgrade maybe a few things. What about the astronaut complex? Can place flags... Alright, let's try that. Uh, then they don't get anything else. They're also complicated in this thing. But there's no... It doesn't say if it gets an upgrade or not. <laughs> never mind. Oh, so it is fully upgraded. Okay, never mind. There is no more upgrades. So that means they should be able to take ground samples. Oh, that's really good. Uh, launch pad... I'd leave me with a hundred grand. Uh, 140 tons. Do the launch pad. So there we go. Um, and that's perfect. And now we can we can plan for a bigger a bigger ship next time. I didn't mean to go in there. That's really silly. 
So that would be all for Kerbal Space Command, uh, Kerbal Space Program this time around. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Like it, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.